Hello friends, it's me, and today is Darman Monday, and we're gonna be watching a video about a guy who catfishes this girl. Let's watch. Man, you're not gonna believe this. Check out the girl I'm talking to. No way you're talking to this girl. No way you're talking to this girl. My friend could never pull. Get her online, and she seems to really like me. We have a lot in common. She's even a vegetarian too. Wow! Oh, we have so much in common. We both love eating grass tacos. She wants to FaceTime me. So? Yeah, there's no teachers around. FaceTime Answer. her! No, I, I can't. I, I don't want her to know what I look like. What do you mean? Haven't you sent her a picture? Yeah, about that. I actually sent her a picture of Brad. What do you mean? Some random dude? Do you want a girlfriend or not? Catfishing almost never ends out good. She only dates guys that look like him. Then she's shallow. Why do you want to date her so bad? Find somebody who actually likes you. This is wrong on, on so many levels. You know what this is called? Catfishing. He whispers. Acting like it's a crime. Why would you do that? You know I'm super insecure. I mean, look at me. She'd never like me. Then find somebody else who would? You think she's gonna like you when she thinks you look like this guy and then you actually talk to her and then she's like, oh, well, you don't look like this guy, so it's all right, we're gonna make this work. No, it's not gonna work. I didn't completely lie. I'm using my name and still act like myself. I just look like Brad now. Oh, I, I didn't lie. My name is Brian. So are a million other people in this world. But only one person look like you. Come on, man. If she's into you, she won't care what you look like. You know what they say? It's not about what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside that matters. You know, if you're insecure about what you look like and you're gonna be like dating somebody or talking to somebody online, like talk to them first, make sure they actually like you and then you guys can send a picture of yourself when you're ready. And if they actually do like the person you are, they're not gonna care about what you look like. You know who probably came up with that? Someone really ugly. <sighs> A bro got no chill. I gotta go. Just promise me you'll be honest with her. Yeah. I'll think about it. You know, looks really aren't everything. I never really understood dating an attractive person with no personality. Like, are, are you just gonna like sit and stare at them? Like, what happens when you actually like get bored? Want to talk to them? Looks are not everything. Saoirse Ronan could make the worst movie worth watching. She is the pinnacle of phenomenal acting. Did you ever see her interview about Timothy and how like- Oh yeah, how she was so excited to break his heart in Little Women. Wait a second, I thought this was gonna take a, a turn and she would end up catfishing him. But no, she exists. Wow. As he broke hers in Lady Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Bird was not a good movie. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. But I'm I mean, sorry, but I got a car wet. Oh, d don't even get me started. Like glass ceiling. Broken. She's a genius. So what's your biggest pet peeve? Definitely people chewing food with their mouth open. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. I hate that. We would not get along. How is that a pet peeve? You know, there are two things I will not change about myself. It's how I eat with my mouth open. Surprise, surprise. I, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like I need to breathe through my mouth while I eat. So mouth stays open and the way I drive. Okay, okay. Time for rapid fire questions. Beyond or impossible? Beyond. Beyond. <laughs> they vibe it over fake meat. Skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. snowboarding. Okay, coffee or tea? Tea. tea. <sighs> coffee is so bad for you. No, it's not if you have black coffee. I really love talking to you. I just can't believe that I met somebody so nice and so good looking. <laughs> it's actually really hard to find. All my exes have only been good looking. I see their pics. Yeah, sorry, I've been meaning to delete those, but what I'm trying to say is you are the whole package. <laughs> she still has pictures up of her ex. Is she talking to this dude? He, oh yeah, I see it all your exes. This is just so weird. And this relationship seems so shallow. Like, oh, we both like snowboarding and eating vegan meat. You're like my soulmate. Hey, so uh I tried to FaceTime you. Oh, uh, sorry, I was in class. Is it cool if I FaceTime you now? Uh no, uh I, I mean, not right now. No, no, don't FaceTime me because I'm definitely not using a fake picture. That's why I freaked out. Why not? I have this huge pimple like in the middle of my forehead. It's super gross. I seriously doubt that anything could make you look bad. <laughs> you know, except me lying about what I look like. No, oh, a huge pimple, go squeeze it in the mirror. FaceTime me while you do it too. I know what you look like. You're a 10 out of 10. She's a freak. She's worse than I am. She literally printed out his photo and framed it. Framed it. It wasn't good enough to just save it to your camera roll. This dude is so gorgeous that you printed it out and framed it. What's that, mom? 
Oh, I'm coming! Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I actually have to eat dinner. Uh, she's making my favorite uh, eggplant lasagna. Mm. But I'll uh, talk to you later. Wait, uh, there's actually something I wanted to tell you. You know that surprise that I told you about? I'm flying out to see you. She is down bad for this guy. Also, why would you want to date her? Y'all have like two things in common. Besides the fact she is violently attracted to you. She you are? so shallow. Yeah. yeah, my dad has to go for work, so I thought I would just come along. I'm really excited. She's trying to secure her man. Me too. Her future well, model uh, babies. Oh. Uh, talk to you soon. I don't know what to do. She's flying all the way out here to see me. You should have lied to her in the first place. Not helping. I mean, that's pretty solid advice. Why'd you lie about what you look like? Did you not expect to meet her one day? You thought this was gonna be a Discord gonna thing? Her. I thought you really liked this girl. What other choice do I have? The obvious one. You come clean. I can't do that. She's gonna take one look at me and not want to be with me. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, I'd lose the bow tie, but other than that, you're not that bad, dude. <laughs> You're being too hard on yourself. Looks like an angry rich child that mother dressed up. Is that her? Yeah, she said, on our way to the airport. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Seriously, you're not going to respond? And say what? That you're not the person you've been pretending to be. But what if she stops talking to me? Then you're no worse off. Then move on. Lesson learned. Actually use your real face this time. Bro a liar with no riz. I'll see you in school tomorrow. If I don't have a panic attack and die before then. It's giving drama, Hi, kid. Hi, sorry. I'm, I'm looking Dude, through. this is so wrong. She's probably looking everywhere for you. Good luck trying to find me. She doesn't even know what I look like. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that her? Crap. Did she come to his school? She literally just like flew in. Like, I'm going to find this guy and I'm going to date him. Hi. Sorry. Um, I'm looking for this guy I've been talking to. Uh, he's just not answering his phone. But his name is Jason. <laughs> and somebody told me that that's... You? Oh. I don't know if you guys have like the same name or something. Uh, oh, uh, Ooh, probably. This is embarrassing and awkward. The same voice. <coughs> uh, sorry, I, I had something stuck in my throat. This, uh, this is uh, my real voice. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll just try calling him again. Hopefully he answers. Uh, you didn't put your phone on, do not disturb. Oh no, she's gonna find out now. How about some tea? So what do you mean my vegan dream man doesn't exist? I'm really, really sorry, Margo. Sorry about which part about lying to me about who you were or about ghosting me after I flew across the country for you. I didn't lie to you about who I am though. J just the way I look. I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? Were you just gonna keep leading me on forever? No, I mean, not at all. Yeah, she ain't even that mad. I would've been pissed. Oh, oh my God. there he is. That's the guy that you're pretending to be, right? <gasps> yeah, he goes to my school. <laughs> I have a framed photo of him on my nightstand. Do you want me to introduce you to him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Brad. She is so down bad. What's up, man? I, I was just wondering, have you met my good friend Margo here? She's visiting from New York. No, I haven't. Welcome to Cali. Thank you. I was actually heading out if you, uh... You just gonna let her take your girl you just like that? Sure. If that's okay with the pretty lady. Yeah, that's okay. You know, it only took the past few weeks of my life to set this date up for you. I would be running and crying to the bathroom. How long are you in town for? Uh, just a couple of days. Maybe I could take you out while you're here. There's <laughs> a really nice restaurant close by. Yeah, I'd like that. Watch him take her to a non-vegan restaurant. Like, oh, you want a burger? Can I get you anything? Coffee. <laughs> oh, instant ick. He likes coffee. Don't you know that's so bad for you? Just a regular... Coffee kind of guy, huh? What do you mean a regular coffee kind of guy? Like, ugh, he drinks regular black coffee? What do you mean you don't order a venti caramel frappuccino? Sorry, I'm late. I was getting ready. You What is he wearing? You show up to a date with a 10. Like that tie-dye shirt. I cannot do the basketball shorts. Okay, I'm not gonna And lie. he's late. I've been really constipated and I finally let out a mean one. I can knock <laughs> it off the toilet. <laughs> Too much information. Nah, he's way funnier You're than the other up? guy. He real. Oh, yeah, um, he said it was a nice place and I didn't want to be underdressed. I didn't know it was casual. So. Good afternoon. Always great to see you, B-Rad. Looking good as always, Natalie. What can I get started for you guys? I'll get my <laughs> Of course. And what can I get for you? Quite the gentleman uh, we have I'll here. I'll just have the 
potato gnocchi, please. All right, put that in for you. Thank you. Well, isn't this what you wanted? Your dream man? You know, go ahead, stare at him all you want. So, uh, what are you into? I really like movies. I'm very into Saoirse Ronan right now. Um, Saoirse Ronan, she was Ooh. in Grand Budapest Hotel, Little Women. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what I love- That's the Atlanta show about the really short women, right? <laughs> Bro, can't wait to go home and watch South Park. What about poetry? No, no way. No, that's so boring. Are you into that stuff? Yeah. Oh, well, this is awkward. Oh no, I'm sorry again. How's the date going? Bro, you just gave another guy your girl. And you go ask how the date is going? Bro has negative riz. Oh, he's eating meat. You know, that's a dead animal on that plate. So, how's your food? Really good. How's your... It's great. How's your dead you animal? Oh, no thanks, I'm actually a vegetarian. You're one of those. <laughs> Excuse me? Like, you're one of those people that makes people watch videos about animals being killed, <laughs> or protests outside of steakhouses. No, 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 no. It's, it's a personal choice. You can eat whatever you want. Yeah, because I'm not a vegetarian. I was gonna say you can eat whatever you want because it's your body. Is there anything else I can get for you? This is going horribly. I'll take a cup of coffee, please. Another coffee? Yo, what's your problem with coffee? Hey, sweetheart. How was your date? I left before we could order dessert. Oh, I'm sorry, Margo. It just sucks, you know? I mean, I thought that I was coming out here to meet somebody that I really liked. The Jason boy seemed like a really nice guy from how you described him. I mean, yeah, except that he's a liar. You're right. It's never okay to lie. But the two of you seem to really hit it off right from the start. You know, maybe you should have just gave him a chance and not been so shallow in the first place. It's sad that he's so insecure that he felt like he needed to look like someone else in order to be liked. <laughs> I guess I never thought about Facts. that. And I do have a lot of pictures of my exes on my Instagram and they all kind of look like Brad. Why do you just leave the pictures up? There's an ex there for a reason. And you decided to go on a date with Brad without knowing anything she about She's weird him. for that. Yeah, I guess I kind of do have a type. And I probably never would have given Jason a chance. I just not lied to you. She was about to say, I would have given him a chance if he didn't look like that. He's not a bad looking kid in my opinion. Okay, Dad, you're so weird. <laughs> just saying. There's a reason the two of you clicked, and it's not because of what's on the outside. Please, bro, give him a chance. She went out with Brad, so. Oh, I guess that's his girl I'm sure now. They're happy together. I doubt it. Brad's a total meathead. What's that? It looks like someone slipped a note in my locker. How does she know which one was his locker? Crafted you to offer the world something different from everyone else. It's a Ruby Core poem. Wait, how, how did it get in your locker? I have no idea. I do. Oh, I'll see you later. Margo, what are you doing here? If you're looking for Brad, I haven't seen him yet. Uh, uh, no, actually, I was looking for you. I realized something after my date with Brad. How was your date? Like a negative 100 out of 10. I'm sorry it didn't go well. What did you realize? Brad wasn't you. I should have been hanging out with the guy that I spent hours talking on the phone with. So, I was thinking that you and I could start over. But, uh, as friends, you know, this is the guy that gets friend zone. She's just gonna be like, okay, you know what? Well, I'm just gonna find another meathead who likes poetry. Are you kidding me? Yes. And I swear, I will never, ever. I feel ever like dating somebody that's again. not your type Trust does me. not work. Dinner tonight? Yeah, I, I know this place with great Beyond Burgers we could go to. Okay. Uh, just on one condition. What's that? You gotta lose the bow tie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dork. I'm not gonna lie, this is very awkward. The lesson we learned today, do not catfish. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.